Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 fastest machines in the world. Faster than a speeding bullet, and unlike any other aircraft ever built, it raced the sun and won. Britain's thrust SSC team has broken the world land speed record in Nevada. For this list, we'll be looking at the machines with the highest recorded speeds, including aircrafts that are still in development or testing. Care to go for a ride in any of these? Race to the comments and let us know. This video is brought to you by the new Motorola Razor. The flippable, pocketable icon is back, and this time it's 5G ready. Discover more at the link in the description. Number 10, Baby Boom XB1. The Boom XB1. Nicknamed Baby Boom is a supersonic commercial jet currently in development. Our goal is to build a supersonic airliner that carries passengers across the world. Featuring three jet engines, the XB-1 is planned to be the first in a new line of commercially available supersonic aircrafts, with a particular emphasis on comfort and sustainability, but most importantly, speed. The company behind the remarkable vehicle, Boom Technology, aims to cut current travel times in half. When London is just three and a half hours from New York, you can cross the Atlantic, do business, and be home in time to tuck kids into bed. The XB-1's cruising speed is stated to be Mach 2.2, which is around 1,675 miles per hour. That's faster than an F-16. Baby Boom is set to take to the skies in 2021 for its first test flight. And when XB-1 takes to the skies next year, it will be history's first independently developed supersonic jet. Number nine. SR-71 Blackbird. Faster than a speeding bullet, and unlike any other aircraft ever built, it raced the sun and won. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird is a high-speed reconnaissance aircraft. Although officially retired in the late 90s, the Blackbird proved instrumental in gathering intelligence during the Cold War, as it was able to evade radar detection through its design. Lockheed Blackbirds, built with radical new methods and materials, astound even the experts. Designed under a top secret program, they seem to come out of nowhere. Because it could fly higher and faster than its pursuers, not a single SR-71 was lost to enemy fire. The Blackbird typically operated at up to 85,000 feet and holds a speed record of 2,193 miles per hour, or Mach 3.3. Flying at three times the speed of sound at 80,000 feet, the SR-71 is in its own private sky. There's no other traffic up here, nor could there be. So there's no threat of a mid-air collision. That being said, one pilot reports having once pushed the plane above Mach 3.5 when dodging a missile. We know what we're putting on our Christmas lists. Number 8, X-15. The North American X-15 was an experimental rocket-powered aircraft that ruled the skies during the 1960s. The Wright brothers took us into the air. The X-15 was to take us beyond it. Using a million horsepower rocket engine, the X-15 was designed to break away from Earth's gravity and fly into space. It would not orbit, it would go into space and back in controlled flight. The rocket plane was used in early test flights that came close enough to leaving the Earth's atmosphere that many of its test pilots are technically astronauts. Some of them went on to become astronauts, including Neil Armstrong, the first human on the moon. When he separated from the wing of a B-52, Armstrong fired his engines. He accelerated at more than five times the speed of sound, reaching altitudes exceeding 200,000 feet. Along with pushing the boundaries of altitude, the X-15 also set the record for speed in a manned powered aircraft. On October 3, 1967, William J. Knight flew the X-15 at Mach 6.7, or 4,519 miles per hour, a record which remains intact to this day. X-15 is the key to an operational procedure that will be directly reflected in the spacecraft and the space flights of the future. Number seven, Holloman rocket sleds. Holloman Air Force Base is located in New Mexico and contains a high-speed rail testing area. Since it first began operating in 1950, it's performed over 12,000 such tests and even has several record-breaking launches to its name. It's easy for me to look back with a certain amount of nostalgia and say, ah, those were the good old days. 
in a sense, they were. Back in 2003, an unmanned sled using a Super Roadrunner rocket motor set the record for speed for a land vehicle at a whopping Mach 8.4, or somewhere between 6,416 and 6,453 miles per hour. However, this speed was eclipsed by a more recent test in 2019, which saw another rocket sled go 6,599 miles per hour, or Mach 8.6. Locked onto the track and traveling in a straight line, these rocket sleds give new meaning to the phrase, going nowhere fast. The goal speed is, is posted all over our facility, and that's Mach 10. Number 6, HTV2. The Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2, or HTV2, is a glide aircraft that the DARPA Falcon Project experimented with in the early 2010s. Built of lightweight materials and in an aerodynamic design, the HTV-2 is part of a class of gliding vehicles developed for military purposes. They're more maneuverable than ballistic missiles and less likely to be spotted by radar. The two tests of the HTV-2 yielded top speeds between Mach 17 and Mach 22, or between 13,000 and 16,800 miles per hour. For comparison, at its low end, that's double our last entry and almost triple at the high end. Given its intended use as a one-hour prompt global strike, it also makes for a frightening prospect once this technology is perfected. Number 5. Apollo 10 Spacecrafts go fast. That's generally what tends to happen when you strap a rocket to something. However, this record-setting speed wasn't achieved on the way up. Apollo 10 saw astronauts sent on a mission to orbit the moon in preparation for the famous Apollo 11 mission, which would land on its surface. Apollo 10 took along all those who had made and were making the conquest of the moon a reality. The crew's journey, however, had them making history in their own right. Upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, the module reached speeds of 24,791 miles per hour, or Mach 32. This impressive figure remains the fastest recorded speed of a piloted vehicle. Astronaut Eugene Siernan described the experience as akin to being inside, quote, a ball of white and violet flame. Siernan was the last person on the moon. We remember all three, and the Apollo 10 mission for paving the way for history, and then making some history of their own. Number four, Voyager 1. A long-range space probe sent to study the outer planets, Voyager 1 was launched in 1977 and is still sending home data about the universe, despite having left our solar system in 2012. It's currently farther away from Earth than any machine made by humankind. It's traveling 20 times faster than a bullet, sending messages home. But while it was still in the solar system, Voyager 1 made several flybys of the outer planets and their moons. It was the gravity fields of the larger planets like Jupiter that helped Voyager 1 accelerate to an awe-inspiring speed of 38,000 miles per hour, letting it leave our home system in a hurry. Voyager is destined to wander among the stars. Bolted to its side is a gold-plated record. On it is a message from mankind to any alien intelligence. It says, This is a present from a small and distant world. Number three, New Horizons. No, not the Animal Crossing game, although quarantine did help it get popular astonishingly fast. We're talking about New Horizons The Space Probe. Launched with the aim of exploring Pluto and the distant Kuiper Belt, New Horizons was going over 36,000 miles per hour while leaving Earth's atmosphere. New Horizons' velocity at launch was the fastest ever, traveling almost 60 times faster than a jetliner. New Horizons managed to increase its speed after leaving home, as it was moving at 47,000 miles per hour after passing Mars's orbit, and Jupiter's gravity increased its speed to 52,000 miles per hour. Using the gravity of giant planets to boost the spacecraft and decrease travel time, scientists were able to make a 13-year trip only nine and a half years. Its current speed is now less, so it will never overtake Voyager 1, but it's still traveling at truly incredible speeds as it passes through the Kuiper Belt and leaves our solar system. Number two, Helios A and B. The two Helios probes were a joint venture between West Germany and the United States to study the sun more closely. Launched in 1974 and 76, these probes were the first of their kinds to be constructed outside the USA or USSR and move beyond Earth's orbit. 
Because they were headed toward the sun, the star's tremendous gravity accelerated their speeds to over 157,000 miles per hour. That's three times New Horizons speed. Helios would make one revolution every second. The friction of space particles against the capsule's body would be considerable as it curls through space at a speed of over 30,000 miles an hour. Although the Helios probes remain in the sun's orbit, they stopped transmitting data after 1986 due to equipment failures and degradation. They sure burned brightly during their initial mission, though. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Thrust SSC. The fastest car ever made, it's capable of 736 miles per hour. Britain's Thrust SSC team has broken the world land speed record in Nevada. Hyperloop, a proposed vacuum train with estimated speeds of 760 miles per hour. In simple terms, the system is made up of two parts, a tube designed to generate very low air pressure and a carriage or pod that can travel through the tube without touching the ground. Cessna Citation 10 Plus, the fastest civilian aircraft. It has a top speed of 606 miles per hour. SC Maglev, the world's fastest train can reach 375 miles per hour. A high-speed rail so fast, blink and you'll miss it. Spirit of Australia, the fastest boat on record, it can hit speeds of 317 miles per hour. A new world water speed record, and still the mark today at an average of 317.6 miles per hour. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Parker Solar Probe Our fastest machine on record is also the newest. 3, 2, 1, 0. Liftoff of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket with NASA's Parker Solar Probe, a daring mission to shed light on the mysteries of our closest star, the Sun. Another probe aimed at studying the Sun, in this case its outer corona. The Parker Solar Probe was launched in August 2018. It will use repeated gravity assists from Venus to get closer to the Sun's corona. As the probe passes close to the Sun, it will briefly become the fastest machine ever built by humans, zipping along at a brisk 430,000 miles per hour. A side effect of this is that the Parker Solar Probe's speed will keep increasing over time due to the Sun's pull and the slingshot maneuvers around Venus. As of September 2020, the probe has been recorded at a speed of 289,927 miles per hour. Not only that, this speed is set to reach well over 400,000 miles per hour by 2025. Thanks to its design and destination, this cool, confident spacecraft is all set to explore. We can just sit back and chill as Parker's solar probe takes the heat. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.